Protagonist Games. Hello! Hello. Who that? Who that? That's Lily. Who that? It's Lily. Hello. Hey, dude! Hey, guy who does the Who Dat series! This yeah. series! Do, do what Katawa showed you characters! Yeah! Do it! Just do it! One. If you're gonna do the Sega Hard Girls, then you know what? Don't tell me they're too obscure! You're doing the stupid Sega Hard Girls! I hear a motorcycle outside our house! I really hope this microphone doesn't pick it up! You care too, don't you? Yeah, I hear it. Yeah, yeah, you totally hear it. So we start, Tommy? Yeah. We gotta go. If you remember, last episode, we are with Lily, and we're shopping and getting Hanako a birthday present. Ready? Three. Two, one. Hello. As we walk back, as we walk... Let's shoot. <laughs> as we walk back, as we walk back out into the city, Lily takes hold of my arm once again. So, did you get any good ideas for a present? To be honest, no. I've, had, I've never really good at picking them. As absurd as it sounds, perhaps we should just look around? Hearing Lily utter those words throw, throw me for a moment. Uh, right. Right. How do we do that? That's just that's just the reaction I was expecting. It's simple. You just go to win. You just you you can you can go window shopping and just tell me what is around. If something interesting comes up, then we might get an idea. Right. I'm not so sure of this, but I'll take your word for it. I think we'll manage. Hanako, my sister, and I managed to do it well enough. With Lily's simplistic and rather optimistic statement, we set off into the shopping district of the city, and I start describing everything I see to Lily. <laughs> what? What? I see. I, I can't see. hear you over that pipe! I see ice cream, I see a lingerie. I see a lingerie. I see a lingerie. I see a lingerie. He so. No. <laughs> it's hard to think of Hanukkah. You know what, Ryan? Let's tell him where she could stick her grapes. In the fridge! No, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. It's, really... it's hard to think of Hanukkah going window shopping. She doesn't feel like the type to place much stock in fashion. Nor have I noticed her reading magazines or the like. In fact, all I've really seen her do as a hobby is read books. There's a there's a houseware shop just ahead. Looks like it's just mostly crocky. Looks like it's mostly crocky though. If you hear that stupid mo motocross whatever, I'm sorry. That's the neighbor. He all keeps right. doing that just, every day. Let's ignore her for a while. Close it's the window if it's such a big deal. Uh, I know, the window is closed, <laughs> not stupid. I can't... I can't think that she'd have much need for that. Need for uh, what? Um... Houseware shop. Houseware shop. Mostly crockery, though. I can't think... I can't think she'd have much of a need for that. And what type of mess... And what type of message would that send her? Um... Cook more food? That's not just such a bad idea, maybe. Sometimes it's best to leave these things alone, he <laughs> Oh, I know what she's talking about. I remember when I used to want to get my mom a present and I would get kitchenware and then my dad would say, no, don't do that. You're just telling her that her only good use is cooking food. Wait, what was the, I wasn't even paying attention. Oh my God. I'm sorry. I was just daydreaming. Yeah, you're always doing that. The world would be ending, and a meteor would be would be not crashing to earth, be and crashing to earth. And you say, "Dude, what are you doing?" What? I was daydreaming. <laughs> I've been daydreaming ever since I was in diapers. Once again, once again, I get the feeling Hanako's exploits in the kitchen are always successful. Oh, I get it. He suggested getting something for the kitchen to help her make food, and then she's all like, "No, let's not." No, let's not do the food stuff. That's there's better things. Why? There's can't be bet wrong with that. And she says, "Let's drop it." She's saying Hanako's not a good cook. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh. Once again, I get the feeling that oh, Lily must have to help her help her with that sometimes. Let's see. Next along is a bookshop. 
That seems like a good one. She's always reading. Yes, but there are a few problems with books. I'm not quite sure what she... I'm not quite sure what she has and hasn't read. What about a gift card, then? There's nothing as impersonal... There's nothing as impersonal as giving someone a gift card. It's like saying, I don't know enough about you to work out what you'd like. Oh! Oh, Lily, Lily, you know laying kinda, it down! I kind of like uh, that better than what Walter's um, thing about it was. You ever heard of um, Jeff Dunham? Yes. He's got a puppet named uh, Walter. Yeah. And he did a comment oh, on those. He's I thought like, you were talking about my dad. Oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I know what you mean. Quick, quick. Yes. He's like, he, he was like talking about gift cards. He's like, oh, there's a uh, gay gift card for someone so lazy. It's basically saying, hey, here's some money. Go get your own damn gift. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I always I always thought of it as making sure they got what they wanted. Giving people's gifts is supposed to show them the level of affection you have for them. If you can't decide on a simple gift for them, then how would you, then how much could you think... And how much could you think of them? <gasps> right, right. No gift cards. Lily seems overly passionate about this, but I can see her point. I personally like gift cards. If, you you're, go if you're gonna get something for someone, then you should put at least some thought into it. Yeah? Yeah? Uh, the reason why is because otherwise it just get me clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I hate getting clothes for Christmas! Uh, Dickie? They still make these? I don't get what you're referencing. That's from the that's from the Ed and Eddie Christmas special. <laughs> oh wait, I, I know that's oh, I know what you I know yeah. what you're saying. If I if I want to get something for Hanukkah that reminds her of us every day, then what good is a gift card? In that case, in that case, what did you get Hanukkah last year? A porcelain doll. I thought if she had someone to talk to, it might help ease her pain. A doll isn't fair ever going to criticize her, after all. So, should I be looking for a doll shop? If you, if you could be so kind as to keep a lookout for one, I would be grateful. Sounds to me. Sounds to me. Sounds good to me. Though, I wish you'd mentioned it earlier. But if I did that, then you wouldn't have started thinking for yourself, would you? Once again, Lily has a point. Her brain is currently analyzing every story pass for gift options. <laughs> If Lily had mentioned a doll shop to begin with, I wouldn't have thought of anything else. You wander through that. Why is there no music playing? <laughs> you wander. No, hold on. Yeah. The wind is the natural sound of music. <laughs> Actually, that's city. Those are cars. Dang it! <laughs> we wander through the city streets, but seem unable to find anything that resembles a doll shop, or anything that I could consider a fitting present. Simple act of search searching is starting to clear my head. The events of last week are starting to fade away. I'm looking forward to giving Hanako her gift. If I can, if I can find one, that is. This is hope. This is hopeless. I thought we'd be able to find something in this city for sure, and I'm sure we've walked down the street at least once before. That almost. Sounds... I was gonna say something really dickish for a present, <laughs> but never mind. That almost sounds like you're giving up, Hisao. I'm not, but. Just a lot harder than I thought. What were you gonna say? Look, Come on, let's do it. Look at that. Yeah. That, my friend, is the face of disappointment. Yeah. Or either that or defeat. Man, she's so good. She must practice in a mirror. Dang it! Or what? <laughs> Try not to be so restricted in your thinking. Maybe we should. Maybe we should go. Maybe we should actually go into some shops and have a look around. Uh, that might work. I've never really been good at window shopping. Lily and I circle around the city street once more, this time popping in the stores that catch our attention. In the end, though, nothing comes up as especially appropriate. Hanako's tastes are, off, are often quite hard to pin down at the best of times, thanks to her intensively private nature. And these tastes we do know are hard to accommodate. May we take a break for a minute? I'm a bit exhausted. I agree and leave Lily to rest along against a railing while I go to a couple while I go get a couple drinks from a nearby vending machine. After walking up to the vending machine and grabbing myself some lemonade, I find myself a bit of a loss. Not really knowing Lily's taste, I decide to take a guess and grab something that seems a little girly, but not too weird. Strawberry strawberry flavored milk. 
I hate that stuff. I love that stuff. Back. Walk up. I walk up to her and place the carton on her outstretched hands, making sure she has a grip on it before letting go. She feels out its con contours before opening it and may taking a very tentative, tentative sip. Her proving smile afterwards tells me I've made the right choice. We both rest and have a quiet drink for a few minutes. A familiar soft ringing begins to sound from Lily's side. She quickly apologizes as her hand goes into her pocket, pulling out her mobile phone. Do you mind if I take this? It's fine, don't worry. She nods to me and thanks and turns away before flipping the phone open bringing it to the side of her face as she picks up the call. Going by the tone of Lily's voice, the person on the other end is no doubt some friend or another. I tune out of their conversation pretty quickly as she snippets that Lily, as the snippets that Lily says make it sound like it's more, a little more than gossip. Without much, el without much, to, without much else to do, I find myself watching Lily. She's, she's really a pretty girl, which would hardly hurt her popularity in school. It's interesting just how much Hanako and Lily contrast with each other, both personality and appearance. For a few minutes, I just lean back and drink, watching her. Before long, Lily says her goodbyes to the person she's talking to and hangs up, placing her phone back on her pocket and leaning back against the railing as before. Sorry, just a friend from class. I take one final swig from my can before throwing it into the bin. Lily gives me her carton to throw away soon. Wait, so what bin? This is China. There's no trash bins outside. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Oh, error, error. Japan trash doesn't trash. have outdoor trash cans. You got to go indoors. Wait, is this Japan or China? Japan. Oh. What? Really? <laughs> well, I'm just saying, maybe there's a difference. This has been Japan the whole time. Uh, the whole time. Okay. You, seem, you seem to have a lot of friends. Oh. Lily waits for me to continue, her interest peaked. I was just thinking that you and Hanako contra contrast really heavily. It's hard to imagine Hanako doing a lot of things you do, or knowing the people you do. You seem, you seem to think about Hanako quite a bit. I don't know, it's just... She's mysterious, I guess. I kind of want to know more... Somebody's in love. I kind of want to more, know more about her, which isn't that easy. It almost sounds like you're doubting your relationship to her. I don't think it's that. I just want to do more for her. Being being our friend and all, I don't really know how she sees me. The statement seems to interest Lily quite a bit. I wonder if Hanako said anything about me to Lily during their conversations. I'm about to ask what's on her mind, and she picks herself up from the railing. Yeah, girl, shall we be off then? Girls don't tell you that stuff! Like at all! Her voice and expression show show that she's playing games with me. Lily knows damn well that, that she's leaving me hanging. With a sigh, I pick myself up from the railings as well as well and have a brief look around. We have stuff to do, so I'll just try and get back to her about this later. Tucked in between a newsstand and a convenience store is a small shop. The sign above the store reads Orthello's Antiques in de decorative English script. Jeez Louise, what is with these hiccups? <laughs> It would, be, it would be easy to miss if we were t walking along the street, but since we're stationary and I'm purposely looking around, it's just noticeable. Say, Lily, that doll you got Hanako, was it new? Well, yes, and I'm not quite sure I know what you mean. I think I found our shop. It's across the road. Oh? Oh, what is it? Some kind of toy shop? Wait, what was the question she asked her? He asked, her? He asked uh, if the doll, the, aunt, the porcelain doll she got Hanako last year was brand new. She said yes, but she didn't know he, he was meant by that. It's an antique shop. I think it's probably go I think it's probably going to be our best bet. Really? I didn't know we even had one of those here. <laughs> Neither did I. I missed it the first time we went. I missed it the first time we went here. It's pretty well hidden. Well then, it can't hurt to check. Inspired by this new, inspired by this new find, we quickly dust ourselves off and head towards the store. Lily's hand finding its way to my elbow for guidance. Oh, okay. The store has a the store has a strange musky scent to it. 
layout is more like a garage than a store. Things are sewn across the floor without any immediate semblance of order. Oh my god! It's the best character, Tommy! Who that? Who that? Who that? It's Shopkeeper. <laughs> the Shopkeeper. I think his name is Orthello. Because that's actually the... Oh my gosh, look at this guy. He looks so like... He, he also looks so... Old. Well, not old. He looks, um... He looks a how to draw he how to draw animate drawing book. <laughs> Remember, he looks like that. That one of those how to draw animate drawing books. One of those art styles of that. I okay. Yeah, yeah I like this guy's appearance. It looks like he has a lot of wisdom on his. I love how he sells parents. They didn't draw sprites for he sells parents, but shopkeeper, yes, <laughs> shopkeeper totally. The shopkeeper gives us an almost bored look through his particularly small eyes. His face looks weary and tired, and his dress style is distinctly anar anarchastic. <laughs> we did it again. F you, dude. <laughs> he gives us a polite nod. To, he gives us a polite nod of welcome before going back to his book. Lily holds tightly onto my arm. I find myself having to split my efforts between making sure. Can you stop lighting that thing in my room, please? I wasn't lighting it. I was Tommy has a handheld lighter like flare thing. He keeps flicking. <laughs> if uh, I don't press it all the way down, the gas comes out. So I fill the chamber. I fill my bowl. With, I fill my bowl, my pipe with the gas, and then let it. Then let the flame go, and then it makes a poof. Yep. Hey Tommy, see my poster? Yeah. All right. So the shopkeeper, he's he's right there. Uh, <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Lily holds tightly into my arm. Am I fine? Oh, wait. I like how, like, throughout these playthroughs, you reference your poster a lot. Well, it's just the fact that, I mean, I, I have, a, I have like, <laughs> two Katawa Shoja posters on my wall. And buttons. 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 Those, I love those buttons. Mike Enel, you're the best. What's the button? Mike Intel, you're the best making those buttons. The task is quite difficult. Or is it? Ah, crud. I, all right. It's not Mikey Gill, you know, it's someone else. I'm terrible at this. The task is quite difficult given the haphazard way the store is laid out and the many things poking out of the shell, shells they're on or sitting in place of furniture. What? Okay. But eventually we safely arrive at an old desk covered in dolls and teddy bears. Dang it. I'm confiscating that. <laughs> I think this is the right place. There's pretty much every kind of doll you can imagine here. That should make the choice much simpler. Could you please pick one for me here, sir? Hold on! What? I think the washing machine's going on. I can't hear it. I'm pretty sure the microphone will! Oh, well. Hold on. Let me, uh... Let me move this here. Alright, let's see how that does. Enrod! That should make the choice much simpler. Could you please pick me... Pick one for me, he saw. I had a feeling that it would come to this. I picture Hanako in my mind and try to imagine which of the dolls before. Are you? Okay. My eyes wander across the collection. Each one is as exquisite as the one before it. The sheer number of styles is boggling, but eventually one catches my eye. Here, what about this one? I pick up a small porcelain doll that looks to be at least somewhat affordable. Dressed in a Victorian era green dress with a little brown hat sitting atop its blonde hair. Looks a little looks a little like Lily. I gently pass it to her, who deadly feels her way around the object while wearing a slight look of concentration. It certainly feels beautiful. Do you think it would suit Hanako, in your opinion? I think it would. It could it could look good in a room. In that case, I'll I'll trust your judgment. Will you be getting her something as well, or shall this be a shared gift? Um, I'm not sure. I think I should get her something myself, but I don't think getting her a doll is such a great idea, maybe. I let my voice trail off as I look around the shop, resting on a writing table not far from us as a decorative box that catches my eye. Wait here. I think I found something. My, my, that was fast. Uh, a ginger... I gingerly walk through a collection of crystal glassware and pick up the box. 
The wooden sides are covered in carvings depicting ancient battles around a castle. The top, however, looks far too familiar. Al alternating squares of white and black varnished wood are arranged in on the lid. <clears throat> oh shoot, he talks! I forgot he talks! <clears throat> That's a really nice item. It's a chest set from overseas. The store owner's sudden appearance startles me a little. I didn't see him approaching at all. I suppose he's trying to help us because we don't really look like we know what we're looking for. Or on the other hand, maybe he wants to keep an eye on us because he suspects we might shoplift left instead. I'm looking for a present for a friend. I see. <laughs> In that case, this chest set would be a fine choice. Realization floods into my mind. This is a pretty good looking set, but this is an antique shop. They're not well known for their bargain prices. How old is this? This is a reproduction. My best estimate is that it's about five years old. I see. How much? He thinks a little before telling me, which is slightly disconcerting. I'll let you take this one now for 700 yen. That's about, I think, sixty dollars. Mm. Seven thousand yen. Yeah, seven thousand. I think that'd be around sixty dollars. Usually, the best way to make the estimate is just cut off two zeros at the end, and then you get the price in dollars, like yeah. estimate. So sixty to seventy dollars. I balk a little. I was expecting. I wasn't expecting to spend that much, but this does seem perfect. Then again, maybe this is a testament to how well he worked out how much he could make me pay. Couldn't, couldn't make, couldn't make it five, couldn't make it five thousand? Five, fifty, five hundred, no lower. <laughs> I'm sold. Oh, or we, I'm, I'm sold. Oh, we'd also like to get that doll. The store owner looks over my shoulder, focusing on Lily and the other doll in their hands. His eyes narrow, and he busily takes a moment to switch mental gears. In the process, his smile drops slightly. Uh, guess that means that's not everything in his store is a reproduction. Are you quite sure you want? Are you quite sure you want that doll, Miss? I trust my friend's judgment. I see. Oh, no offense. Oh, 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 he could tell. I'm moving the microphone back. The uh, washing machine seems to have died down. Okay. None taken. If you could please wrap it for me, that would be appreciated. Yes, of course. But it is 20,000 yen. That's like $200! <laughs> Lily reaches into her purse and, pre and pre presents four crisp-looking... Five, five thousand yet. What? What? How come the others didn't have commas? <laughs> commas. Maybe you missed it. Here you are, twenty thousand yen. Twenty thousand yen. The storekeeper dutifully takes them and the doll, and, proce and proceeds to the counter. And I take Lily's arm to guide her there. Are you Whoa. Well, she just paid like two hundred dollars. Yeah, her bill. Lily is she packed. Was... Yes. Yeah, Lily is she... packed. She is. What are, what's the what's the term? Lily's Lily's got paper. Lily's got bank. Bank paper. Cra capital. Oh, Yo. See, let's just continue. Not for this. Are you sure about this? It's okay. I have the funds I need. As I said, I trust your judgment. I feel a little guilty on two fronts. First, because Lily has just spent a lot of money on my recommendation. And secondly, because I have a feeling the value of my gift isn't high enough. Oh, but, oh he's paying less. <laughs> he's feeling guilty because he's paying more. Nevertheless, Lily does seem to get somewhat awkward whenever the mention of money comes about. I hand the shopkeeper my present and the money for it in turn. He puts the cash into the register before busying himself with wrapping the doll and repeating the process on the chessboard. Eventually... He finishes the gift wrapping and hands us both our presents. Please be careful on your way back and do come again. Thanks. Indeed. Thank you very much. The store owner bows deeply as to us as we both leave. Well, it did take us all day, but 
We found something in the end. That we did. Now that the presents are wrapped, I'm feeling a little impatient to give them the Hanako. It's a common reaction to buying gifts. I wanted to see the reaction of the receiver as they discover what it is. And part of me wants to return to Hanako just to confirm her condition with my own eyes. So, should we head back? Let's. We've done a lot of walking today, so I shan't mind taking a be rest back at the dormitories. Oh, he's right. Now that she... No now that the need to find a shop is over, my legs are feeling quite tired. Well then, pack the school for us. I'm looking forward to resting a bit too. Lily holds out her arm and I link mine with hers. Together we make our way back to the bus stop. Wait, wait. Oh man! Whoa! Hold the phone! Uh, all right, let me double check out the time. That we got. All right, fade in. Thank you. All right. All right. I think we'll go a little farther. Just a bit. Okay? Mm. Yes. Mudo, Mudo reads equations and formulas to us one by one in his usual unenthusiastic monotone directly from the book. Yay. It's possible that he might be. It's possible that he might be excited about what he teaches us. Sometimes he can display an awkward spark of passion for it. As if he's starting to get into the material. Oh yes. Most days, however, are like are like this one. That we're covering that what we're covering is fairly simple, so I find it increasingly difficult to keep my concentration on them. It's not too long until my legs begin aching again, which only makes it harder. I'm almost starting to regret walking around the city yesterday with Lily. Since leaving the hospital, I've done very little physical exertion. Walking to and from a lo the local corner store hardly counts. Despite Emmy's attempts when I first arrived in Yumaku, I've largely given up on the idea of ever returning to my old level of fitness. I have little doubt that's what that's why walk I have little doubt that's why walking around town for so many hours has made me quite so sore. It's depressing and it reminds me of one more thing I can't do since I had my heart attack. This makes me feel pathetic. What? Feels bad he's not exercising as much. Oh. No, Ikazawa. It's odd for Mudo to ask Kanako a question, but not unheard of. Ikazawa? Ikazawa. Oh. Ikazawa, that's Hanako's last name. Oh. Hanako Ikazawa. It's odd for Mudo. She quickly jumps to her feet, a little startled, and immediately pins her eyes onto him. She knows that Mudo calling her on her is rare, so all eyes on the cla so all, all eyes in the classroom are going to be on her. This way, she doesn't run the risk of making eye, tack, eye contact with anyone else. Yes? In this particular example of a redox reaction, the combustion of methane reaction actually produces one more pro product than, than is listed. That product is... Even though it's a softball question, she timidly waits a bit before answering, biting down slightly on her lower lip as if to keep her concentration. Um... He well done. <laughs> that's an that's an ether, ecothermic reaction, with the reaction giving more heat than is put into it. Receiving a nod from Mudo, from Mudo, Hanako takes her seat once again and gives a relieved relieved sigh. A shaky start, but it's something. Well, it'll be nice for it'll be nice to take her out for her birthday, somewhere different from the usual isolation of a room and the tea room. With the progress she's made until now, I don't think we'll have much of a problem going into the city. Right then. For remainder of the class, I'd like you to work in groups of three or four on the problems in chapter 12. I'll be here if you need- Oh! <gasps> oh! What? Oh, crud! What? Tommy! We're gonna leave the episode here! Oh my gosh! Remember Tommy I said there's a scene coming up that I've been waiting on? Okay. It's coming next. Oh, okay. It's this now. But you know what? I think I gotta prepare ourselves. We're gonna rest here now. Cliffhanger. Cliffhanger. Mudo, you jerk. Get your pipe. Get your pipe. Oh. Get ready, Tommy. I'm gonna be serious, Tommy. What is coming up is going to 
hit super close to home, at least for me. Well, no, it doesn't hit close to home. Wait. It smacks home straight in the face with a baseball bat. Okay, let me ask you something. How am I going to feel about this scene? Uncomfortable. Uh, uh, Uncomfortable. Wait, is this her backstory? No. No. We'll see you next time! Bye-bye. Daryl, see you next time! Goodbye. Don't worry! Goodbye. We'll, go. we'll still be here! I love you, sweetie! I Help me!